All right, this one is called Go Go Loser Ranger. But if I call it a Power Ranger, in fact, I did call it a Power Ranger in the trailer reaction. People are like, actually, this is a Sentai. And I'm like, okay, okay. The Japanese people that, you know, come in Sentai, Super Sentai. Americans fucking call it Power Ranger, whatever. Seems like a pretty interesting story. Let's begin. Episode one. Sentai. Okay. Looks pretty vibrant. Humans and monsters have a war up there, floating 10,000 meters up in the sky. It's the heroes, guys, beating the bad people. Blue Keeper. Oh, look at that pose. Green Keeper. Oh, it's gotta be Pink Keeper. Yellow Keeper. He's the hacker man of the team. People, people, people. All right, all right. Damn, look at Mr. Hero here. Red Keeper. And this is the Loser Rangers? I liked that intro. That was cool. So, Dragon Keepers are the Sentai, and then the enemies, the bunch of Zakos here, are the nefarious monster enemies. So, it's a weekly show, right? Is this for kids? Kids love Power Ranger, right? Y'all selling these to kids? Goddamn, I mean, if you look at fucking, you know, mixed martial arts, MMA, and stuff like that, you know, they got a lot of girls, you know, doing the same shit. I am Waku Waku, let's go! Yo! Look at the um, advertisement above. Ro you, so there's like a capitalism aspect of this. Of like, oh, we got the Pink Ranger. This is like a weekly shit. They've been doing this shit for 13 years. They're like, yo, Blue Keeper. He's the fastest one, right? So buy his sneakers. Oh, Pink Keeper. You know, she got the cool lipstick. Buy her stuff. <laughs> Monsters got a secret weapon. Red Keeper, guys. He's so cool. Yeah. Oh, my God. Red Keeper. He's a leader, yeah? Will we- Okay, he has an ultimate technique called a Dragon Slash, and the kids pro probably fucking love this shit. Alright, alright. This is like a... Sunday, like a national holiday just to watch this show in Japan, huh? There's more advertisement here than my fucking Patreon and my fucking, you know, right over here. This, this Risks. Civilian casualties. What? That was important there. There's no civilian casualties. But that's like a question of like, why do these heroes need to even exist if there's no civilian casualties? Because these monsters are fake. So this is all fake for the sake of capitalism and pushing a product is the implication here, right? Should we be a ranger guy? He's cult-like, man. Oh, we're recruiting dragon keepers. Cool. Do they pay well? So anyone can join, but if you want to be the real keepers, the dragon keepers, it's different, obviously. This girl creeps me out, dude. Her eyes are fucking terrifying. What was that? What the fuck just happened? Take the first step. And this is our main character, right? Welcome to the stadium! Your floating castle! Floating fortress underpass crossing. Amanogawa City. Strike your victory pose. Honestly, this looks pretty fun. Oh? It's the evil people! The Zaku! Damn! Fighters, aka dusters! Alright. His name is Ultora because it's supposed to be Ultra Tiger, but Tora means tiger in Japanese. Funny, funny. It's old Tiger Tiger. Oh, they're throwing cans at us? What is this shit? Yo, fuck him. Throw this shit back at him. Oh, you shadow no. What are we, not humans? Dragon Keeper! Wow! Yo, I thought that only kids would like this shit. A lot of grown-ass adults here, too. This is like pretty much WWE. This is like wrestling, bro. 
Everybody loves this. Like, not just kids, teenagers, adults, everybody. Is he an actual monster? No, this is costume, right? All part of the script. Go, Dusters! <laughs> part of the show is the Dusters to attack the fucking audience? I mean, old Tora Tiger, old, old Tiger Tiger said anyone with Tiger Stripes, you know, he'll be able to do some shit to them, right? So, like, the play, the entertainment act is like the Zako. They fucking go attack the audience. <laughs> and then the Red Keeper has to save them. Where's the heroes at? Oh, it's the girl. It's that girl again. Oh, it, I can't tell if this is all smoke and mirrors or if it's actual power. Was that all just stage prop? I don't know. All part of the script, right? This is all part of the script. Keeper strong as fuck. I mean, he was selling whey protein out the wazoo. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Old Tora Tiger! Are these people taking it seriously? I can't tell. Like, this is genuine, like, you know, like, like they're genuinely shocked. And, like, they're so immersed. Like, this is fake, right? It's just all for show, but I can't tell because the audience is taking it so seriously. <laughs> Divine artifacts? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Old Tora Tiger. Remember, that means Tora is Tiger. Old Tiger Tiger. And this is Tora Tora Tora. Him. Tiger 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 form. <laughs> he turned into a... <laughs> Listen. You could have turned into like a tank or something. Like you really, this is the most intimidating vehicle that you could have transformed into. This is your phase two Tora Tora transform. Bro, come on. What do you mean? This looks like, this, like, this is straight up merch they're going to sell to the fucking kids, bro. Scrum. <gasps> Scrum. You're going to run at it? <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? It's the Tora Tora transform, and you thought you could just run. At it. Scrum! Everybody get together. <laughs> Truckun just isekai all five of those characters. You're right. <laughs> He's too strong. All part of the script, right? If the heroes win from the beginning, where's the fun, right? You gotta let the enemies win, and you gotta kind of tease it, and then audience has to feel a certain way, and then some kid is gonna be like, "You can do it, Red Keeper!" And everyone's like, "Yeah, you can all do it!" And then it's like, "Oh, thank you, our fans, with the power of friendship and our fans, we will beat Tora Tora Tiger." <laughs> Straight up so cliche, dude! <laughs> you mean someone left to fucking push your product to? Cause let's get real. This is all a sham. You are selling a delusion to these kids. So these kids are gonna want to go to the fucking Walmart and they see Red Keeper figurine and go, Mommy, Mommy, I want the new fucking figurine. Come on. This is all just capitalism at display, bro. Yeah. For the kids, for the kids. <laughs> Reconstruct? Are we straight up thinking about what to say after we lose and we didn't even remember the fucking script so we're just fucking improving on the line right now? Interesting how they said we get resurrected, right? So like we're going with the classic this time. So like this is the way that they always lose. There's like a template. Okay. Reconstruct? D? Admin D? Admin D? Kumo? Spider. Uh oh, here it comes. He's going off script! Wait, D is going rogue! D said fuck the script! 
Did D survive that or what? I mean, look at this shit. Does this look like a group of heroes to you, right? I think it's very obvious what they're trying to do. Like, no, this, I mean, the trailer pretty much said it, right? It's like, these people are the actual evil people. And we, we have to fucking take on their shit all the time. Like, this does not look like the look of a hero. Where's D at? D survive? No? I'm Krad. Kaiba, where are you at? So this is the enemy fortress, right? <laughs> Monster of the week. <laughs> One hour before the show, people have already bought the fucking tickets and we're just trying to figure out who the fuck is it gonna be this week? Uh, old Tora Tiger. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> it's pretty funny. No one gives a fuck here, dude. <laughs> 13 fucking years and we still haven't ended the fight because the fight ends we can't sell money anymore because capitalism money how did they all sign up for this in the beginning huh our bosses work so they were actually so 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 the story is a long time ago this is actually our villain lair, and we had our bosses. And the keepers, the dragon keepers, they actually did fight them. And they killed them, and they're gone. But the dusters were left so that they could continue having this WWE Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, pay-per-view only. This Sunday, watch the fucking dragon keeper versus Ultora Tiger. Tickets are $25 and you know, stuff like that. So they can continue just milking money and letting them survive is the plot. Are Fighter G is his name? There's D and there's Fighter G. Old Tora Tiger. No? You come up with the then. Oh, girl? Girl? L. That's too cute. L, that's way too cute. No, it's supposed to be scary. Yeah, it's supposed to terrify the kids. What are you doing? It's <laughs> already too cute. Fighter D. That makes sense, yeah? Because we're supposed to lose. So he's actually trying to win? But you're supposed to always lose. I thought that was the, the contract or whatever. Really? But he's the only one that actually wants to win. And everyone else has kind of accepted this weekly show to put on where they go in, boss of the week, and then we lose. We'll get you next time, and then we meet on Sunday again. But everyone's kind of just accepted it, except D. <laughs> he got fucked up. <laughs> So many characters. D。仲間内で争う。そんなに
それと戦隊から支給された生物図鑑を出せ。I'll, I'll be the tiger. Does he transform? Oh, they all have badges on their shoulders. So they're not humans, obviously. They're actually dust people. Alright, it's good enough. Yeah, it's good enough. They needed a fucking encyclopedia because they didn't really know what a tiger looked like. D is the one that was, you know, in the scene, right? Where he shook the girl's hand. Oh. To the enemy? You sure he said that to you? Is this hinting that, like, naturally people want to root for the underdog? I'm not sure. The kid says Gambare. So the kid said that to F here because naturally people are drawn to the underdog. So, like, this story eventually will be us against the keepers. So maybe with this in mind, we can somehow rally the audience to cheer for us to win against. Or maybe he misunderstood. I'm not sure. The who's just saying Gambare here too? You know, the the sky or us? I don't know. Why is the mom and the kid in the stadium? Because because the mom paid extra. The mom paid extra for the premium VIP tickets where you're allowed to get into the fucking arena so the kid can have the better experience. Come on, it's all just capitalism, bro. You pay up the premium fees, you get to actually get to the front, and the dusters can try to attack you, but it's all a show. <laughs> Tell the truth, break the immersion, fuck them. But if we tell them the truth, then the rangers could actually kill the dusters. But like, if they kill the dusters and their production of money stops, so they can't. Don't we have some, some kind of leverage? I feel like we're not as powerless as we think, because it's like, okay, the rangers showed up and they killed their bosses. And the contract is, we will play this show every week on Sunday for money. And they need us. But if we break the contract, would they just get rid of us like that? Aren't we kind of important too? Here we go. And then D started walking forward. There's still that reconstruction thing that I don't know what that means. Plot twist. Plot twist, wait. D. Just because we're immortal. How the fuck did the bosses get taken out if they're immortal? Okay, so dusters are immortal, that's why they can reconstruct after getting hit by dragon breath. Feel pain, but immortal. I, aren't we fucking insane then? Oh shit, D's going off script, bro. D's going rogue. Spice up the show, let's go! Uh-oh. What's he gonna do? Wait! 1v5! I thought we were gonna get a fucking cool moment, bro. What the fuck? What the fuck? Alright, we got fucking baited at the end. Alright, he's... I mean, he got hit by a fucking dragon breath, but come on! I thought... I thought we were gonna fucking win or something! Alright, he's tired. Maybe next time. Maybe, maybe next time. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh, no. Red's gonna beat our ass, dude. Oh, no. Did you see that? Bro is fucking... Look at the little breath he gathered here. What a fucking showman. What a performance. Look at this. See, <laughs> Gambari again! He's even got the merch for the dusters. Look! He's got a duster merch, so... There are some people that want to root for the underdogs. You can do it! I don't know, maybe they want you to win once at least. Oh, we're gonna lose. Oh, shit. Your kind! We're dusters. Fraud! No! These keepers are evil! Red is kind of racist, huh? Your kind. We gotta face reality, right? That is the game. We gotta know our place. Every Sunday, we gotta go in there. But interesting how they mentioned this is the thousands. No, this is 998, and now this is 999. 
meaning next fight will be 1,000. And surely by the 1,000th battle, something special will happen, right? 1,000 has to be the moment, the turning point, where something different happens, right? Don't you think it's thematically, it just makes sense if they're intentionally having us be the 999 fight here? Oh, we're getting reconstructed somewhere else? The keepers did say you have some time left before you can make it back, right? His human form. Oh, it's that girl again. It's fucking phony. What is up with this girl? Is she our way in? He's gonna join the Rangers? What? So. I thought the story was like the monsters are gonna fucking fight back and beat against the keepers, but the way this is now going is he's gonna do like an undercover cop, not an undercover, but like he's gonna go in with the intention of making the rangers lose, like self sabotage is the plan. Huh. Where are we going with this? And does the girl also have the same motive from within? I don't know. To be continued, man. And that is the episode. What do you guys think? I thought that this is a pretty fucking interesting story, right? It's like there's these heroes and there's these monsters and every Sunday they fight, but it's a fake fight for the sake of capitalism. The more that people show up, the more they can make ticket sales, the more they can, you know, promote their own independent brands and sell sneakers because Blue Ranger's so fast, you know, muscle whey powder because Green Ranger's so strong, you know, makeup, you know, stuff like that because Pink Ranger's so pretty. So this is basically just like capitalism at display. But D is realizing like we don't I don't want to do this anymore, right? He's the only person that actually wants to fight back. And I thought that he would do it from our side, but it looks like we're doing it from within. This girl is very interesting. The blonde girl that touched her hand, right? Her eyes are fucking empty and dark as fuck. I wonder if she's also one of us that's like secretly in disguise. I'm not sure, but there's something more to meet the eye of this girl. So we're going to go in and then we're going to self-sabotage the ranger so then the the dusters are gonna win that seems like the way that we're going but so far this first episode very interesting very compelling and i hope you guys enjoyed it too because i definitely want to keep watching this or you know as our sunday slot but that's it for me if you're still here if you didn't enjoy this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care